People ask this question a lot and I've been asked this question a ton of times and that is, Hey Unmesh, how do I edit images fast? It's like I have hundreds, 500 images and I need to deliver it in time. It's just not practical for me to open each and every image and do the settings and move the sliders and stuff. How do I do that fast? Today I'm going to show you how to do that really, really fast by using a feature called Sync and Auto Sync in Lightroom. So let's get straight to it. So here we are in the library module of Lightroom. What is library module? Just click here where it says library and it opens up the library of your images. Just select the folder that you want to edit or the collection that you want to edit. In this case, I've opened a collection and then step number one, select similar images. Do not select by similar. I do not mean, Hey, all the photos in that event were similar. No, by similar images, I don't want you to select all the 100 or the 500 images. Just select images which have similar lighting conditions and probably the same subject or the object. Not necessarily, not always possible, but just try to select similar images that would require same kind of editing, right? That is step number one. To do that, select one image, hold the control or command, and then select the images which you think are similar. Or what you can do, you can select one, right? Just like this, something like this and hold the shift key, select the end image and everything in between is selected. All right. Now let's go to the develop module where we develop or edit the images. So let's click on develop. Now what we have to do, open up the film strip. All right. So this is the film strip. Open that up just like this. Now these are the images that we have selected. But this image is brighter than the image that we have selected there in the thumbnails. What does that mean? That is called the most selected image. And I'm not kidding. That is indeed the most selected image. You can also just go ahead and select any one of them. And that becomes the most selected image. As you can see, it's brighter than the rest of the selected images. And it also appears over there. Think of it like this. The selections are the people that we have selected for the parade. And this image is the leader of the parade. What does the leader do? It leads the troop. Now, once we're in the develop module, just turn this little switch on and witness the magic happen. Now, this is called auto sync. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just make very basic adjustments in this image, just this image. Have a look. First of all, let's just correct the white balance. So I'm going to choose the eyedropper tool and click on an area which should have been white in real life. So let's click here. White balance is corrected. I can try in several other areas as well. I kind of like that. I'm happy with that. Let's keep it there. And then you can just make some regular adjustments, something like that. I'll touch the clarity just a touch, something like this. Maybe play with the highlights and the shadows, not so much highlights and increase the shadows a bit, take down the blacks and very, very basic adjustments just like so. Right now you can play with the whites and do all sorts of editing. Let's have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Very plain editing. Now I'm going to increase the highlights a tad bit like that and maybe increase the exposure a little bit, then kind of decrease the highlight. Okay. Now as we are making the changes, have a look, all the images are changing, right? Let's have a look. If I increase the contrast all the way to the right, have a look. It's very harsh. All the images update as we do it, right? So let's decrease the contrast back again to this side. All the images update accordingly. So let's adjust that. So that's one way to do it. One other way of doing this is by turning auto sync off. Okay, you have turned auto sync off. Just work with one image. Like you don't have to even select all of the images. Just work with one image like that. And maybe you want to just make some little adjustments, maybe correct the white balance, just like we did previously. And then maybe work with all these stuff and just make some adjustments, take down the blacks and stuff. And then what we can do, we can select the images. Okay, select the images and then this is the most selected image. All you have to do, just click on the sync. Now, once you click on the sync, you also get the option of which settings you want it to match with that of the other images. For example, you just want to match the exposure and that's it. Just the exposure. Then you will just check the exposure over here and uncheck everything else. So check none and just check the exposure. 
only the exposure will match. So you can choose whatever settings you wanted to match. For example, just the contrast and the exposure. And I will hit OK. I'll choose just the contrast and I'll hit synchronize. So let's have a look. All of the contrast have been changed to 19. So this was 19, right? Contrast is 19. We have made some changes here, but have a look at other images. Contrast is 19. Now these are different values as we set earlier, but contrast is 19 on all of them because we just chose the contrast. You can choose all of them or just one feature. So that's the advantage of sync over auto sync. Auto sync does everything in real time and I use it all the time. But when you just want to move just one setting, that is the thing. Let me show you one more example. So as you can see here, we have a series of blown out images. All we need to do is to just decrease the highlights. Of course, you can go ahead and choose sync and just check the highlights, but we can also use auto sync in a little advanced manner. Here's how to do it. Step number one again, select all the similar images first or the similar characteristics that you want to edit. In this case, that is the highlights. So let's select all of them because I've already pulled in just those images with the problem. So I'll just select all of them and then let's go to develop module. Now let's turn on auto sync. So trick is turning on auto sync. Let's open up the film strip so that you can see what's happening. And now let's decrease the highlights to kind of make it look natural. So this highlight works. Now every image updates. Now you might want to edit it further, but you do not want all these settings over here to replicate in other images. So here's the trick. Now once you have done matching the settings that you want to match, for example, you wanted to match the white balance as well, make it a little warmer and you also wanted to match the color or the vibrant, something like that. Now, once you have done all the settings that you wanted to match with that of the other images, just then, and only just then, turn off auto sync and then start editing as you would normally do. And there you go. Now it's not being replicated. Only the parameters that you wanted to replicate through all of the images. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can very easily and quickly skim through all of your hundreds of images and edit chunks of them together. Of course, for the special images, you can move them over to Photoshop and do some skin retouching, but not all images require that, especially when you have a large chunk of images. Just keep in mind that you select five to six to three to four images, depending upon the lighting situations are similar and probably and just probably the subject or the object is the same. That's all you need to keep in mind. That's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. It's very hot actually today. Even my arms are slipping because of the perspiration. It's truly very hot.